Yeah. yeah. Tell me about CF. Tell me what is cystic fibrosis and and um, how it's affected your your life. Yes. So cystic fibrosis is a genetic chronic terminal lung disease. Um, so like genetic, you're born with it. Chronic, it gets worse with age. So as I get older and older, um, my health is constantly deteriorating. And then terminal, yeah, it ends in death, to be quite blunt there. But yeah, so it's something that I'm always going to have. Um, it primarily attacks your respiratory system. So your lungs and your digestive system as well so like a lot of people with CF would have a lot there's like so many various other illnesses that you could have related to CF so for me I have CF related liver disease and then CF in itself attacks like the pancreas so um people that know biology would know that like um, you have like enzymes which is like the chemicals in your body that break down food for people with CF our bodies don't produce them um, like to an extent that they should so you know be re reliant on artificial enzymes every time we eat we have to calculate fat content and how many tablets we need to eat with that um, to make sure everything's digested and then yeah lung wise then there's like a lot of treatments and stuff so with CF um everybody has like mucus in their body but with CF your mucus is like thick and sticky so that will clog up your airways as opposed to someone who doesn't have CF the mucus is like very watery it can shift and move throughout the lungs with ease and you know like even yourself if you cough you wouldn't even notice mucus but it's constantly clearing out of your lungs right that's just yeah. the human function but with cf it because it's so thick it just gets clogged in your lungs and blocks your airways and slowly suffocates you so you constantly need to be clearing that on a daily basis doing like lots of different treatment plans that you, yeah you get put on a treatment plan kind of at a very young age that can constantly develop so you know I'm constantly finding new treatments that would work better with me or I might need to do more because my CF is a lot worse than it would have been when I was like four um, and it's just constantly like every day I need to make sure that I'm getting this mucus out of my lungs so that I can breathe and even though I'm not I wouldn't breathe at like the function of a normal person um, yeah it's just like any bit of air that I can get is good I suppose <laughs> yeah it's better yeah. than nothing absolutely it's it's a fascinating um I, I suppose it's fascinating for me to learn about it because I think it's it's so important like everyday things that say um I or other people would take for granted your 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 day is uh, a lot different maybe could you talk me through kind of what what happens, I suppose, say a, a normal day for you? Yeah, so I usually wake up, um, you know, just before I get into this as well, like any treatment plans that I say, there's no two cases of CF that are the same. So I'm on, I do these certain treatments. Some people have to do less, more, or just different variations of them. But for me, my day begins by... I usually wake up and feel quite caught up from, you know, at night time when I'm asleep, your body like naturally re relaxes and I kind of need to like boost my lungs being like, hello, wake up, yeah. <laughs> breathe for me, please. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my morning starts off straight away. I need to go down and start a physio session. So physio is like respiratory physiotherapy. That's um you know physiotherapy on your lungs so for me I take an inhaler then I'll do this nab it's like big noisy nab that thankfully I wake up later than the rest of my family and they don't have to hear this big machine going in the morning but um yeah I do that and it's a saline solution so I'm just breathing that in and out and that like moisturizes the 
mucus in my lungs so it'll be easier to like it loosens it and it's easier to cough up um for me I do my saline with this like it's like a neb chamber that has like a resistance on it as well so as I breathe in and out it's putting resistance on my lungs which is making them work harder and shifting all the mucus as well so I do that um it's like uh, as disgusting I this probably does sound disgusting worry, to most people but you know, when you're doing say line it is like you're coughing up mucus so that's like I know whenever anybody sees me do it for the first time they're like is she okay this is disgusting <laughs> but that's just life it's yeah it's like yeah it's disgusting but I'll do it if it means I can breathe <laughs> yeah whatever it takes but, um, yeah so I do that and then I do a nebulized antibiotic so again that's just like another chamber the medicine goes into the chamber and I just breathe that so overall that would take me probably like anywhere between half an hour to an hour in the morning, depending how much work I actually have to do and how much is in my lungs that I need to clear on that day. Yeah. And then I'll go about my day doing normal things. And then in the afternoon, then I'll do another nebulizer, which is just another like medication that to be honest, I don't even know what it does. I, I really should know what it, that one does. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it just like, I know it works like deeper with like your, like gene genetic kind of thing. It's like one of those that doctors are like, oh, does it work? Does it not work? But it works for me. I've been doing it like yeah. all my life. So I do that. Thankfully, that one's just a quick one in the middle of the day. So that'd be like 10 minutes. And then in the evening, then before I go to bed, I need to do the same thing that I did in the morning. So shifting that, like any mucus that I've built up throughout the day and trying to get rid of that then. Um, but yeah, I definitely used to do a lot more as a kid, thankfully now in the past couple of years, there's been amazing discoveries in the drug world to help CF a lot. So um I definitely think I'm in a lot of a better place than I was. Like I'm very thankful that I don't have to do as much physiotherapy as I used yeah. 